Nicknacks Plastic Planet. Hey guys, welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I'm your host, Nicknack, hanging out with you guys tonight. Guys, I just got back from my evening walk trying to offset the fact that I've been eating like a fucking trash panda for the last couple, um, several weeks. Actually, last two months. Like, completely fell off Weight Watchers, man. And I have just been destroying the Debbie cakes and uh, the carbs. And it's delicious. But I got to walk it off, man. Uh, at least got to try to walk, you know, offset it a little bit. Um, but anyway, so I just got back from my evening walk. Um, and uh, fuck, man, I got to show you guys some shit. Because uh, it's been a little bit since I've gotten a video up. But I do have some really cool stuff to show off to you guys, including uh, a Hot Toys figure. Uh, I believe my good buddy uh, 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 Darth Kirby in my last uh, video comment section asked when I was getting my next Hot Toys figure. Well, it arrived. So, yes, I have a new Hot Toys figure. And I bought a brand new Sideshow figure, both Star Wars. And they're really fucking awesome. And, yeah, I've just dropped the F-bomb three times in this intro. But YouTube does not like when you do that for monetization purposes. Fuck. Alrighty guys, so first and foremost tonight, guys, check it out, I got a new Hot Toys figure, and this is of course IG-11 from The Mandalorian, he arrived oh, about a week and a half, about two weeks ago, and I finally got him out over the weekend, and I did mention in my uh, previous videos that I'm not really going to do, unless it's like a real special occasion or something I managed to get my hot hands on early, which will never happen, because I'm just a regular old collector, just like you probably, and I don't get shit early. Uh, but anyway, I, I just don't see the point in doing full unboxing videos anymore for, you know, especially for items that have been out for a long time, man. You can, you can go through YouTube right now and find some, some, uh, some, uh, some unboxing review video on IG-11, uh, no doubt by some guy wearing, you know, latex gloves like he's going to give someone a prostate exam. Um, something stupid like that. But anyway, I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, at least not for the most part. Never say never, but uh, yeah. But anyway, really cool figure. He's awesome. His head lights up. Um, I'm probably not going to light that sucker up for you guys. But this is him in his natural habitat here on my shelf and my detolfs here. I'm going to kind of pan back and just give you guys a little bit of a lay of land how he's looking in there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. I mean, more than anything, I, when I watch YouTube videos, uh, action figure YouTube videos, I just want to see how people display this shit more so than the uh, item itself. Um, I can read the product information for myself, but uh, just seeing how people, you know, put this shit on their shelves is really cool. At least that's what I think, and that's what I'm going for here. But anyway, he looks really, really good. Let's get him out and do a little bit of compare and contrast for you guys, though. All righty, guys, so here is IG-11 here. I'll uh, remove from the Detolf and out of that pose he was in in the Detolf, which was pretty good. I'll probably have him in that pose. Um, he does the, the, the uh, action figure stand, of course, does come with a stem, but it's got that annoying grabby waist grabber thing. I don't really like using it, and he's got the nice flat, uh, large base kind of feet, so he's probably not going to topple over real easy, but he is really, really cool. He also comes with a battery pack you can put on him to make those eyes light up that I'm not going to do tonight, but uh, I don't know. I think he looks pretty damn awesome, and i just give you guys a quick 360 of this piece here, and yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, the bandolier strap goes on pretty easy. No, no complaints there at all. The one thing I do think that really sucks ass is his stand. Check out his stand. This is the stand he came with, and uh, obviously it's not designed for him. This was probably the stand that the Mandalorian uh, Black Series or Hot Toys figure came with, and uh, that's really, really cheap and shitty Hot Toys, in my opinion. Uh, you know, at least, uh, at least give us a stand that fits the actual figure that it's coming with. Obviously, um, those uh, foot foot stamps there, uh, those those uh, foot footprints uh, don't don't match IG11's feet. So that's really cheap and shitty. And so uh, shame on you, Hot Toys, as you guys can see, it is IG11. It's his his stand, but uh, yeah, cheap, 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 man. What do the birds say when they fly over Kmart? They say cheap, 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 and that's that's cheap. So that's cheap and shitty. Uh, he holds his guns okay, oh, kind of. Um, he's got his his hands got these like multi grabber grabber things, which is really cool and probably very screen accurate. But sometimes uh, his his guns will fall out of his hands. Um, I guess if you really work at it, get him in there, you can probably get it to hold it pretty good. But they do tend to fall off for me. Uh, but anyway, overall, really like the figure. There's a bit of a showing of the head sculpt, and uh, yeah, it's like his uh. His head can uh, move in like full 360, like different layers of it um, can move around, like all of his little sensors and shit. So yeah, he's got that that 360, you know, IG88, you know, optic sensors and shit. Very very cool looking figure in that respect. So oh fuck. So yeah, so there he is. He's pretty cool. Oh no, his head fell off. What a fucking dipshit. Yeah, so his little fucking like you know Tin Man cone head thing fell off and went. Went all the way across the room there, but there it is. Um, it's fine. Uh, but I did notice that uh, 
uh, you know, I didn't read the directions or anything, but I guess you put the batteries in there and you can turn them on and, and light up his head. So you actually have to take this off to light up his head. So again, not, not something I really want to do. Not something I'm interested in doing for, uh, at all, really. So I'm not going to do it. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. If I can get this back on, shit. All right, so there he is once again. And the only kind of compare and contrast I got for you guys tonight is uh, here he is with, uh, with IG-88. And this is the IG-88 that came out from, of course, uh, Sideshow Collectibles. This was the first uh, rendering of IG-88. So this came out, I don't know, 2012, somewhere in there. I don't, I don't fucking remember. But anyway, really cool figure. His head also lights up if you push on this dome, but I don't. I think my batteries are dead in there. Um, yeah, but anyway, I mean, you know, they're just little red lights. You're not missing much. So, uh, but pretty cool. So there, there they are together and uh, looking pretty nice. IG-11 does feel a little taller, maybe, maybe than, uh, yeah, because IG, IG-88 is on a stand. So IG-11 IG is a little taller than IG-88 and a little more detail. And, and some of his joints almost kind of feel like they have some die cast in them, maybe, like especially like these, these like uh, hip these like hip guards here. They almost have a sort of a die casty feel. Maybe it's just a real quality plastic. I don't know. But uh, I don't know, man. It kind of has a kind of has a nice, a real sturdy feel to it. I don't know, man. I'm not a product designer. I don't, I don't know. I don't know shit what I'm talking about. But I don't know. Kind of has like a, a die cast feel to it. So very, very solid. Uh, this one does not have any of that. So that's that's definitely an advantage for the Hot Toys figure. Uh, the one thing I do like better about the uh, the uh, Sideshow IG88 is that uh, his blaster can peg into um, his arm socket there. There's a little peg on the end of the blaster uh, handle here, and it just, uh, or the blaster grip, and just kind of pegs into his arm there, and uh, so he holds it pretty damn awesome. And uh, I don't know if that's the case, no, that's not the case on the large gun, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, I wish this one kind of had something like that. It of course does not, so there's the blaster. He just kind of pseudo holds that. So anyway, yeah, pretty damn cool though. And uh, yeah, I got some cheese balls the other week. Boy, that was a mistake, man. I just keep eating those fucking things, man. I gotta throw that shit out. Bought them for a football party, and man, I had my friends over, and they didn't eat that many of them. Uh, eh, I'll tell you where those cheese balls went. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so yeah, there's IG-11. Really cool. Alrighty, well, what else did I blow my life savings on? <laughs> well, uh, well, as you guys are seeing my awesome uh, uh, skiff uh, right here, my Hasbro skiff, which has really dramatically grown on me since I first got it and uh, unboxed it on the channel. Uh, right next to it, man, I picked up, I found this guy, didn't order them, just found him uh, at random at one of my at my local collector store here in town, uh, Hero Headquarters, which I've shown you guys a couple times here on the Plastic Planet, um, that nice store over there. Picked up the Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. Now, why the hell did I buy this? Um, I already have not one, but two uh, Hot Toy uh, Return of the Jedi Lukes, the deluxe version and the non-deluxe version. And then I bought this one as well, which is a deluxe Sideshow Collectibles version, which comes with basically all the same garments and things that the, uh, that the, uh, the, uh, the two uh, Hot Toys versions come with. Well, you know, guys... I just can't get enough Luke Skywalkers, man, especially from Return of the Jedi. There's just so many different uh, wardrobe options for Luke Skywalker in that film, and I want to celebrate them all. And in this case, I'm sort of celebrating some sort of headcanon um, expanded universe sort of lore here uh, with the way I have him currently displayed, which looks really, really good. And yes, yes, I do have the Mandalorian Luke Skywalker pre-ordered as well. But again, I just can't get enough Luke Skywalkers. I mean, hell, if some guys can collect a crayon box worth of clone troopers... I can collect a bunch of shitload of uh, of uh, Luke Skywalkers, man. You know, if, if I was a Marvel fan, I'd have like, you know, 50 different Iron Men. You know, it's kind of the same thing for me. Uh, so anyway, he looks really, really actually pretty damn awesome. Uh, he's a lot better in person than he, than he is uh, some of the pr uh, production uh, 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 pictures of him. I think he looks a lot better in person than those. And I do have my little baby Grogu that came with my deluxe Mandalorian with him as well. So very, very cool looking uh, piece. Let's, let's, I'm going to take him off the shelf and show you guys. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I've got him taken off my shelf here and now it's his turn here on my dirty coffee table next to the cheese balls uh, to give you guys just a little bit of a closer look of this particular piece. I've taken down his hood so you guys get a little bit of a, a sense of the head sculpt. I don't think it looks really that bad. I've heard some people bitch up a storm about this particular head sculpt on this figure. I don't know. I think it looks pretty damn awesome. I don't know if it's in league with the two hot toy figures. And we'll do a little bit of compare and contrast here in a second with those two. Uh, just so you guys can see them together. But I don't know. I think it looks 
pretty damn awesome, actually, if the camera will stay in focus. I really, really love the garments that he comes with, though, and his accessories. Um, I really love this Jedi robe a lot. It's, it's, it's the brown one. It's not black like the Mandalorian one. That'll be different. Uh, but I really like this one a lot. It's, it's just so soft, man. Man, I want a freaking sweatshirt that feels like that. That is, that is like easy like Sunday morning comfort. That is awesome. But anyway, he looks really, really good. I love I love the pose I've got him in. And again, I've sort of got him in sort of a head cannon expanded universe kind of look here with his Jedi robe and uh, and his uh, the way his uh, the way I have his uh, his outfit on right now. Um, this definitely ha wasn't how he appeared in Return of the Jedi. Uh, but again, I think he looks really, really fantastic. And it's a really, really nice figure. And again, I just can't get enough Luke Skywalkers, man. Um, you know, a lot of guys, like I said, a lot of guys like to collect all kinds of troopers and things like that. And don't get me wrong, man, I love clone troopers. And I even love stormtroopers. I really love stormtroopers, actually. Um, but you know what? I don't know, man. There's something about collecting the, the lore characters. And, you know, you don't get more lore than Luke Skywalker himself. And, uh, yeah, absolutely love him. I, I, you know, for years and years, Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker was my favorite Star Wars character. I think losing Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi and just how that made me feel, realized how much I love this character. And so, you know, especially after season, uh, the season two finale of The Mandalorian, I'm just celebrating all things Luke Skywalker uh, this year on the Plastic Planet. So I'm collecting whatever I can find. If I find a Luke Skywalker and it's an awesome, you know, it's an awesome rendition of him, I'm probably going to buy it. And so I picked this guy up. I uh, really didn't have to think too hard about it either. So uh, looking really good. How about some compare and contrast? Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's get some compare and contrast right now. Alrighty. What an awesome compare and contrast. What a what a lineup I got for you guys tonight there. Of course, we got the uh, Sideshow Collectibles, uh, Return of the Jedi Deluxe Luke Skywalker right there. And then we have, actually, what I have here is I body swapped the regular Hot Toys Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker with the deluxe one. So I think the body on the Endor Poncho one is the original one, the regular one, and it was a little chubbier for whatever reason. And so I kind of have that hidden under the poncho. Um, I've made this joke before and it really applies right now. I sure could use a poncho to walk around in right now. That would look really good on me. But anyway, um, so anyway, so this is a, so these are sort of a mix and match uh, figures here uh, with the original and then the deluxe. But I really, really also love that head, that head, that uh, hair swept look on, uh, on uh, Luke Skywalker there. That is so, you know, Return of the Jedi original movie poster kind of look there. Um, really dig that a lot. So anyway, um, not to make you guys sick, sick by spinning you around my room. Boy, anyway, there's a nice compare and contrast for you guys. I don't know if this one's, a, this one feels like it could be a little shorter than this one. Um, I don't know. I, I, the, the stand is is about oh, a few millimeters shorter than the Hot Toys stand is. That could be part of it, but it does feel a little shorter. I don't know if that really matters. But anyway, there they are together. And you guys can see the face sculpts and kind of decide which one you like best. I th I'm leaning definitely towards the Hot Toys, but um, not to say I don't really like this uh, this Sideshow one. I do like the Sideshow one a lot. Um, I don't know, this, this is a pretty good head, head sculpt right there. And of course, these guys also came with other portraits. I've got other portraits uh, in my, uh, in my archived, in my uh, Hot Toy accessory uh, tackle box but I'm not gonna get into those right now. But anyway, looking really nice, man. I really dig this a lot. Oops, I bumped the camera, sorry about that. But anyway, looking really nice. What, a, what an awesome compare and contrast. But I do I do love this head cannon uh, look that I have right now for, for uh, this particular figure. Looking really, really nice. And then of course, this is pretty accurate to how he looked on the sail barge, and then of course, how he looked on Endor. So yeah, pretty damn awesome. Alrighty guys, we're gonna do a new segment here on the Plastic Planet. Actually, it's a segment that I've been doing for a really long time, but I've finally just given it a name. We're gonna do a little bit of a uh, hodgepodge here on the Plastic Planet, where I just go around and talk about some random shit that's going on in my collection. And uh, yeah, let's do that right now. Alrighty guys, so I know in my last video, uh, about a week and a half ago, uh, I showed off my new Star Wars walls, which are really, really cool that I got off Etsy. But I also picked up some really other, some other cool shit on Etsy as well. Again, really, really trying to go for uh, a little bit more of some in-universe environmental pieces for, to go on my collection. And so check it out as I'm going across the room and trying not to shake the camera too much. I picked up these awesome like Death Star control panels, again, off Etsy. And um, they're plastic and obviously like 3D printed and painted, but they're really, really freaking fantastic. Now, again, I'm gonna probably not keep these here. I'll probably hang them up some way. Um, 
but I think they're really cool. And uh, yeah, they're just really, really awesome. And again, just gives the room just a little bit more of an authentic in-universe feel. Speaking of in-universe feel, check it out down here on my uh, Diet Coke uh, refrigerator. I picked up a droid intake port uh, as well. And that's just sticking right there. And it's really, really cool. Um, again, handmade, 3D printed, probably um, item. Bought it off Etsy, cool seller. Uh, got it in pretty reasonable time, and uh, yeah, really cool. So again, I, I don't, I've been on such an Etsy kick lately. Um, you just get some good shit on Etsy if you really want to find some some things and to add into your collectible uh, and your collection that are a little, you know, a little off the beaten path and a little uh, unique. Yeah, Etsy's the place, man. Um, I hate to sound like a corporate shill or something for them, but yeah, they're really cool. It's cool shit on Etsy. Look at that, badass. All right, so now I do have some not so good news that has happened in the last couple of weeks uh, in my collection. Now, as you guys know, I've added these black shelves uh, into my collection over the last couple of months. And overall, I'm really happy with them, really pleased with them, but it did have an accident. So uh, scanning up my shelves here, you guys will see Cal Kestis right there. Um, and he's a really, really cool Black Series figure. I unboxed him a couple of weeks ago in a video. But anyway, he's really cool, but motherfucker took a shelf dive, fell all the way down, and actually hit my $500 premium format C-3PO. And you can't tell, but knocked his fucking thumb right off. Shit for brains! I'm not kidding. I came down, found, um, found him on the ground, and then, and then like knew he'd hit these two and surveyed for damage. And then I found his thumb had been knocked clean off. And I couldn't even find his thumb. I, I like had to tear apart the room. Finally found it like, over here in you know in with my uh, vintage star wars figures here my hoth vintage star wars figures and fortunately it was a clean enough break that i glued it right on and it was fine and it did it, it was fine just a little super glue and it was fine not a big deal uh it sucks knowing that it, that that happened but not a big deal but anyway so that's why c3po is now underneath this uh this wall mounted shelf and that shelf is very secure i've tested it <laughs> and i don't have anything real heavy on it right now either uh my best been uh my Bespin diorama, my Hasbro Bespin diorama is not a heavy piece. So, uh, but anyway, that's why he is safely underneath the umbrella of this shelf. In case anything else decides to take a fucking shelf dive from up there. I mean, that is just horrible when a $30 figure breaks, falls and breaks a $600 figure. Fuck. And that's my fault. Totally my fault. First rule of, of displaying is never have cheap shit that's going to fall on top of expensive shit. Always have the expensive shit in a place where stuff's not going to fall on it. My fault. My own rule and I broke it and I paid for it. Well, more accurately, my C-3PO paid for it. But yeah, that really sucked ass. All right, you guys want another quick when collectibles get fucked up story? We'll check out this one. This one happened a couple weeks ago. This one actually happened within a, the week before my C-3PO got broken. It was a bad week on the Plastic Planet. Let me so you. you guys remember when I shot the video with these guys in it, these awesome Hasbro, or actually Kenner, technically, 12-inch uh, uh, Cantina Band Aliens, when I shot the video for these guys. Well, when I was placing these guys up on this shelf, um, I was just haphazardly swinging my arms around, hanging these guys. And I'm not kidding, guys. I'm not kidding. I knocked the lightsaber off my old premium format Darth Vader. Clean snap right at the base. What a fucking dipshit. Oh my fucking God. And for whatever reason, I could not get the super glue to take for it. It just would not take. And I was sitting there just literally holding it on there forever. And I think I finally got it. I don't want to touch it, but you can kind of even tell um, that light doesn't look as bad in person. Um, but you can kind of tell there is some glue around the lip of it. It took a bunch of glue and I was down here swearing up a storm. And then of course my wife, like, like, you know, patronizingly asked me, Oh, did you break one of your toys? Fuck yeah, I broke one of my fucking toys, bitch. I broke a fucking sick $500 action figure here or statue. Jesus Christ. Love my wife. She's not a bitch, but you know what I'm saying, man. It just Sometimes people don't understand what this stuff is worth and what they, what it means to you. Jesus. So anyway, that sucked ass. That really sucked ass. Thank God it wasn't my uh, Jazz and Glance speeder that got smacked, though. That would have really sucked. Not that this didn't suck, but that would have really sucked, because I love this piece a lot.
Well, I don't know. I guess that's it for this edition of the Plastic Plan. I, I don't know. I mean, I know there's YouTubers out there that like every time they move a figure in their collection, they do a video on it. I, I don't know. You guys want that kind of stuff? I don't. I, I don't really know. Um, you know, I don't. I try to. I, I know I don't. I don't up, up upload. You know, like you know, sometimes not even weekly anymore. But I try, when I do try to upload, I mean, I try to you know give you guys something meaningful. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I, I I could start doing just a bunch of dumb shit every day too. I guess that might help grow the channel, but. I don't know. I don't even know if I care anymore. But anyway, I don't fuck. I don't know. Anyway, oh god damn it! That teeth is fucked up. No, right, sorry guys. I, I thought I had a, a lip boogie when I was talking. God, I'll go back and watch my old videos, and sometimes I'll have like a white like like lip boogie on my lip, and I'll just go like back and forth up and down on my lip while I'm talking. Lip boogie, lip boogie, lip boogie, and it's fucking gross. And it's like I thought I had a lip boogie. I, I didn't. Um, and my teeth looked really crooked for a second there, but I guess it's okay. Anyway, all right, guys, I don't know. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Plastic Planet. Please like, share, comment. Please do subscribe, guys. I got some more non-Star Wars stuff that I promise I'm going to get to very, very soon. Um, hopefully, I'll get that maybe uploaded this weekend, maybe. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm taking two weeks off from work here in the next uh, couple weeks. And so uh, I'm going to work on the channel some. And uh, so I'm going to try to get you guys some more content here because I know it's it's been a little slow lately here on the Plastic Planet. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. I'm not... I'm not, uh, I'm, uh, as, as they used to say in, uh, in high school football, man, uh, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, what the fuck did they say? I ain't rebuilding, I'm reloading! It's, it's just a BB gun, guys. <laughs> it's a nice BB gun, though. Kabow.